we are gonna make some caramelized white chocolate today. A very cool little thing that you can do in the pastry section of the kitchen. And then we're gonna take that caramelized white chocolate and turn it into creme patisserie, like a set custard, which you can stuff into a variety of different desserts. Okay, let's get into this. Start with a good quality white chocolate. This is Calabao Couverture chocolate, which is a coating chocolate, higher cocoa fat percentage. You need 200 grams. Yes, get in, got it right first time. Cut this up into chunky bits, put it on a baking sheet lined with a silpat or parchment paper, lay it out a bit flat like this and bake it at 250 degrees for about 40 to 50 minutes. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna spread this out from time to time, every 10 or 15 minutes or so. And this is gonna spread the chocolate out and get it nice and flat so that it caramelizes a lot quicker and easier. This is also very satisfying to do, especially if you like icing cakes or painting, or just like melting chocolate and spreading it on a hot tray. Okay, now we're gonna keep doing this again. You can see it's clumping up and it's starting to get a little bit darker. That is the caramelization of the milk solids. They're starting to warm up and get a lovely golden brown color. We're gonna take it to this stage. This has been for about 42 minutes now. You can see underneath, where it's had contact with the hot part of the tray, it's lovely and golden brown. Now at this stage, it might be a little bit tough, so you're gonna switch over to a metal spatula like this and really work it and get it nice and smooth. Look at that beautiful, gooey, caramelized melted chocolate. Pour it all over me, please. Now we're gonna channel our inner Willy Wonka, proper Charlie and the Chocolate Factory style, and we're gonna put this into a container with a bit of parchment to effectively make a big chocolate bar. Give it a little shake, little tap, and let it set. When it's set, it will pop out just like this. Peel away the parchment paper, and you can just see the lovely shine from the Kuvitra chocolate there. Gorgeous. Okay, we're gonna need 120 grams. Break it up into little pieces and set that aside, and we're gonna move on to our creme patisserie, our set custard. Next, we're gonna need four egg yolks. So just separate the eggs, just like this, crack the shell, and you can pass that yolk back and forward. This way, hopefully, you won't pop the egg yolk. If you do, don't panic. Then we're gonna put in 50 grams of sugar, fine sugar. Whisk that till it's nice and pale, just like this until it's nice incorporated. And then we're gonna go in with 40 grams of cornstarch, corn flour. Give that a nice little mix around the sides and then keep going and it will thicken up nicely. Set that aside and then we're gonna warm up our liquids for this. You're gonna need 300 mils of whole milk, 200 milliliters of whipping cream, double cream, and scrape out the seeds from a vanilla pod. And we're also gonna use the pod itself as well. Put that all into your milk mixture. Now get this on the heat, medium to low heat, and we're gonna slightly bring it up to the boil so it's just boiling around the edges like this. And then we're gonna pour that right into our egg mixture. Keep whisking, keep whisking until it's all incorporated. Then get it back into the pan. And then we're gonna basically start stirring this. And this is gonna go really quickly. It's gonna thicken up a treat. Get yourself a nice whisk, keep going. And I think this took me about 30, 40 seconds. Watch your heat if it starts to get a bit too hot. Take it off the heat a little bit, keep going, and you can see it's lovely and thick and gloopy. Turn the heat off, keep going for a minute or two just to cook out that corn flour. Now pour that over your chocolate, mix it through with a spatula, and there you go, just keep going, incorporate it all, and you have your beautiful creme patisserie. Now an optional step is to pass this through a sieve just to make sure there's no lumps. You don't have to do this, or you can go straight into the piping bag, but old habits die hard. And there you have it, scrape off the bottom, flatten out the top, put over a bit of cling film, and you've got a beautiful wibbly wobbly creme patisserie that you can smother your face in. So there we have a beautiful caramelized white chocolate vanilla creme patisserie. You can use this to stuff a whole number of desserts. That is so good. Caramelization to the next level. Those milk solids taste phenomenal. So if you like content like this, please like, comment, and subscribe. I shall see you all on the next one. Cheers.